Justin, where does Ambrose's interest in global emerging tech come from? Andrew, when we first started uh, Ambro, we had two options at the time in 2014. We could mirror the sort of South African uh, asset management landscape as it existed, or we could look internally at our own business and see what was out there. And what intrigued us was just how much technology there was that was, you know, a proper enabler for business and also for clients to come into it. And so what happened was a, a passion developed, you know, in our own business or Craig and uh, the rest of our team for us to look at things in a different way for a different world. And what I mean by that is from our own internal CRM systems and architecture and even the AI-based um, anti-money laundering systems we, we have, we decided to look at that and say there must be a bigger play for external um, companies and opportunities out there. And uh, today, you know, fast forward uh, to, to the fund launch and fast forward to where we sit today, it's incredible how much technology has enabled businesses and that's where we stand today. So it's really a summary of two parts, uh, the internal experiences we have and the passion for the differences they make in the global world for clients we invest in. So with the, the long-term trend of the fourth industrial revolution playing out, um, and we can obviously see that playing out for the, the next uh, decade or two at least, um, technology is a, a primary focus in, in how we interact with the world and our day-to-day -day lives, from uh, travel, business automation, to social, uh, social media, how we interact socially, as well as uh, the gamification of uh, many sporting activities from indoor running, cycling, um, the rise of esports, all those kinds of uh, all those kinds of uh, avenues. And uh, at Amber, we're obviously always looking for something a little bit more nuanced, a little bit more niche. So we've taken the view to look for you know the next up and coming big name household brands that offer that high growth opportunity uh, when we structure in a well diversified portfolio by minimizing the risk uh, to investors. And uh, we feel that this is something uh, as an investment trend that's gonna continue. Uh, we're definitely seeing more investment houses kind of cottoning onto these ideas and additional types of funds uh, coming to market. Um, so it's an exciting space to be in and uh, it offers exciting uh, growth opportunities to investors out there. 